Hello, all my beautiful angels. How many of you have missed me? Because I have missed you guys so much. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I was renovating my room, my grandma was in the hospital, but nonetheless, all is well. I'm happy to be back, pumping out new content for you guys. And today's video, as you can see from the title, has been requested for so long. And I finally am delivering. Okay, but before we get into the video, do not forget, of course, to subscribe to this channel. We are on a road to 10K. Guys, if we could do this even before January is over, that would be fantastic. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram, which will be right here. And also do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you guys are notified every single time that I post. And also one last thing I do wanna say, thank you guys so much for all the encouragement and well wishes in regards to my grandmother and her recovery and her well being and all the prayers that you guys have sent me. I really appreciate it so much and I really genuinely wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. And also, I hope that you guys were able to catch up on all my videos since I was gone for an entire week and then some. And now be ready for this week and the new content. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so let's just jump right into it. My perfume collection, hello! I do wanna state as a disclaimer that yes, I am sharing all of these perfumes with you guys, however, if you guys do smell these and you don't like them, that's completely fine. That's completely your own opinion, your own prerogative. Just like these perfumes that I use are things that work for me and they work very well on my body and I've received lots of compliments on them. The perfumes that I'm showing you today are not the only perfumes that I have, but these are just the main ones that I use. I also wanna add that every single perfume will be in the description box below. Cause as you guys know, I do like to make sure that I provide all resources that I mention in the description box below. So before, you ask me, hi, where can you purchase this? Please check the description box. It will be there, the exact link to purchase the item directly. These perfumes are also in no particular order and just literally taking out random ones. Here we go. Okay, so starting with number one, and this is just because, I swear, <laughs> is my favorite perfume at the moment, which is this perfume right here. This perfume is called Baccarat Rouge 540. This is um, the big bottle. I, I don't know how much this retails for. You guys will obviously see it in the description box, the exact link. This is the large size. As you guys can see, I've used a lot of it. I've gotten my mom to purchase this. It's an amazing perfume. Definitely top seller. The lady that made it is called Maison Francis Cordijan Paris. And it's an Eau de Parfum. My French accent is just non-existent. I mean, whatever. But I can't even begin to explain to you the smell that this has. Like, I honestly just can't. I know that on the website, when I list it, they will have, you know, the notes that the perfume has. See, I'm just someone that's really good at spotting out perfumes and a lot of different perfumes blend very well uh, with my body chemistry. But this one, I always get nonstop compliments. Do not quote me, but I do want to say that this particular bottle is a little over 500. I don't know if it's 525, 575, one of those things. On to the next. By the way, I am obsessed with my hair today. Like I curled it yesterday and then I put it in a bun. And when I took it down, it had this just sultry, like voluptuous look. And I just... I'm living for it. I'm just saying, okay. Next perfume I want to mention is this one. This just smells so good to me. It's called Lady Million by, oh my God, by Paco Rabanne. I had no idea that Paco Rabanne made this. Okay, Paco Rabanne made this amazing smelling perfume. Again, I'm not even gonna begin to go into the notes of what this actually smells like because I literally, can't really describe it to you. Um, so I don't wanna try, but this is also a very, very good fragrance. It's amazing. Like, I just, 
I don't know. Like, I feel like a millionaire when I put it on. <laughs> and, like, the shape of the bottle is so cute. Like, come on. Can we talk about it? Okay. The next perfume is this. Simple, simple, simple. Very accessible. This is called Versace Bright Crystal. And... Oh, my gosh. This perfume smells so good. It has... This one I can explain. It has a very fresh scent to it. So, it's not a sweet, sweet perfume. And I like whatever smells good. So my taste does range. However, I do tend to like very sweet smelling and also fresh smelling perfumes as well. I do not really like spicy perfumes. I know that is for sure. Um, but of course, that also depends on how you may perceive the scent. But for me, this is such a fresh scent, guys. Oh, it smells incredible. This next perfume that I have is called Toka. Toka is one of my favorite brands for perfumes. I mean, before I started wearing perfumes from Neiman Marcus, uh, because I just always would crave like something that was even more exotic smelling and things of that nature. Um, but I did go to Dillard's one time when I was like in Vegas and I got this other perfume. I don't even, I don't even remember how to pronounce the name. And I think that was really the start of it all. But this you can definitely find in Sephora. In fact, I got this in Sephora and it has like a very heavy, it's kind of like a heavy bottle. This is called Toka Colette. They all have different names. And I know that another popular one is Stella. Stella smells very good. And I had Stella, but I finished it. Like this one, as you guys can see, is practically almost empty. Um, and this smells incredible as well. And I also learned that all the tops are all different for every fragrance. So maybe I shouldn't have thrown the rest away. <laughs> so this fragrance right here is another fragrance from Toa. I'm not sure if you guys want to see like a close-up of it. I'm going to... That's what it looks like. And... This one is almost empty as well because, I mean, boy, I really, really went through a phase where these were all I was wearing. I love Toka fragrances. And this one is called Bridget. So that smells really good as well. Okay, so this one, the label came off of it. It's like missing here. But I know for a fact from the smell that this is Cleopatra, which was also my first fave. It honestly has the same smell as, if anyone knows, Marcisco Rodriguez which is in a pink bottle. It's made by two different people, but this has the same smell as Marcisco Rodriguez and it smells really, really good. And this is my third bottle of this one, uh, but absolutely, absolutely love it. So up next we have this perfume. This is my fifth one of Marc Jacobs Decadence. Guys, the packaging alone. Do you see this? It's like a little bag. Let me see. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cute. So this perfume to me is a mix of, I'd say, sweet and also fresh at the same time. It's a very strong fragrance. I would definitely say that, but also I like strong, so there's that. And yeah, as you guys know, I've had five of these, so... This is also the fifth bottle. This is the last bottle that I have, I think. Maybe I might have a sixth. I have a problem. So up next, we have the brand Replica, which is by Mason Margilla. This one is a little different for me. I don't wear this one really as often. It just depends on the mood that I'm in. This perfume is basically a line that um, Mason Margilla created where he traveled all around the world. And based on where he traveled and he was inspired, he created fragrances that mimicked where he was at that time. And this one is called Promenade in the Gardens. So um, it says that the fragrance description is shaded and flowered path. So this is what he smelled. I also want to note, this is kind of weird, but I think it smells good, but I didn't, you guys might hear my cat in the background, but I didn't purchase it because it was a little bit, I don't know if I liked it enough to buy, but it's called lipstick. And it literally smells like lipstick. It's a very eclectic fragrance, I will tell you that. But yes, I would definitely check out this line and I know for a fact you could get this in Sephora. So another fragrance I wanna bring up is 
I don't even know how to pronounce this name. It's like Atlier Cologne, Atlier or Atlier. I don't even know. That's what it looks like. Um, this actually was a gift to my mom from my dad because it actually has my mom's initials on it. You can see like STF. And this is called Clementine California. Guys, this smells so good. It's so fresh and incredible. I will 100% be repurchasing this i am just saying okay can i say it this smells fresh and just so i think this fragrance can honestly go on anyone but that's just my opinion okay this fragrance right here is called pinrose secret genius and this is for all my girls who like vanilla scents i mean I can't explain this scent to the T. I was obsessed with it when I first got it. And honestly, I'm not really too big on prices because I like to purchase things that have quality. But this is a very tiny bottle, in all honesty. And it was about $65 for this really, really tiny bottle. And I know that I got this from Sephora for sure. And it smells like vanilla, like a vanilla perfume. And I really do like that. So if you're someone that's very simple with your taste and you just want to have this, I definitely suggest this as a signature fragrance for yourself. Because I know I've mentioned in previous videos having a signature scent. This could definitely be an option. To be honest, any of these that I'm mentioning in this video could definitely be an option for you. Next, I want to bring up a favorite of mine, which is called Olympia. So that's the bottle. And this is also by Paco Rabanne. And this perfume, I would say, is definitely very strong. I can't really explain the notes of this perfume. It's definitely more on the sweeter side. This is my third bottle of this perfume in particular. I do get a lot of compliments when I wear it. And also I realize that I am a huge fan of Paco Rabanne fragrances. Between Lady Million and this one, ugh, to die for. Ugh, love it. Okay, so this fragrance is in the shape of a diamond. And it has like little diamond things like inside of it. Um, this perfume definitely, I would say, has more of an eclectic smell. Depends on your body chemistry, how it would mix well with this. It smells almost like, I guess kind of like an old lady, but I don't know if anyone has ever smelled Chanel number no. five. And this is no offense to anyone who wears Chanel number no. five, but I personally really do not like Chanel number no. five at all. And this to me, even though it smells very old kind of when you put it on, as it wears on you and the day progresses, it smells so amazing. And it really mixes well with my body chemistry and it does not smell, again, it doesn't smell old when you wear it. It has this like smell that you can't even detect. It just smells really good. I know that's for sure. And this is, by, it's called uh, Zhivago uh, 24K. That's the name of this perfume. This is also a tried and true fragrance. There also is another fragrance that I left in my room. <laughs> and I really don't feel like going upstairs and getting it. I'm so lazy, but I will provide the link for you guys anyway. And it's called Alien. Alien is a perfume that I was that I have been wearing off and on since I was in high school. Like that was like, that's another perfume that I feel like smells to some people a little grandma-like, but once you have it on, you if you know Alien, you know Alien. You just know that that fragrance, it's amazing, and it lasts all day long on the body. Another fragrance that I use is this fragrance by New York & Bond. It's called New York Nights, and it smells absolutely incredible. When I smell it, I think about the color purple, not the movie, just literally the color purple. Like that's the word that comes in my head when I smell it. And it smells really, really good. I just absolutely love this perfume. There are a couple more of this brand that I wanna get from New York and Bond. Um, and I also do have some perfumes from Creed, but that's not in my immediate collection right now. So I don't have that on hand. I definitely do recommend this as well. And last but not least, the actual perfume that a lot of you have been asking me about was this perfume right here. So this is the perfume that actually the guy that I was dating uh, before had purchased for me. 
This one is called uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, but this is the extract. So this is stronger than the other one is, which is this one right here. So it's the same, it, this is the same brand, but this is the stronger one and it doesn't come in this size. But to be honest, I like this one way more. This one is just more sweeter than this one is. This one is a little bit more, um, I don't wanna use the word muskier, but basically this one's a tiny bit more muskier than this one is. So I personally like this one the best, but a lot of people like this one as well. This is definitely a go-to. It lasts all day long, you know, same for the other one. They last all day long. All I wear are long wear perfumes. And also, I don't know, the way some people's body chemistry is, sometimes it's easier for them to wear long wear perfumes. And then in others, sometimes their body doesn't wear perfumes that long, but mine tends to. So these all wear very long on me and I absolutely love them. So that is the last perfume that I wanna show you guys. And I also want you guys to keep in mind that another secret that I have is oils. I love to use fragrance oils. I do believe there's a website, which I also will be providing in the description box below, where this company sells like really inexpensive oils that mimic a lot of mainstream fragrances. And if something is oil-based, if a perfume is oil-based, the longevity of it on the body will be longer anytime a perfume is oil-based. And I know that I live in New York, so if you go to Harlem, if you go to you know, Jamaica, Queens, areas like that, they tend to sell a lot of these oils that mimic, you know, mainstream fragrances and they smell so good and they last all day. They are super potent, super strong. So I can link the, um, oil perfumery, I believe it's called. Um, that's not specifically where I get mine from because the people that sell it, you know, in, you know, the city are just random people that are selling it. It's not an actual company, but I will definitely be providing that as well. Okay, guys, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my perfume collection. Do not forget if you made it to the end that all of these perfumes will be in the description box below. Guys, road to 10K, do not forget. We can do this, we are so close. I cannot believe it. This is going to be an amazing, amazing journey. I'm so happy that you guys have embarked on it with me. I appreciate all my new subscribers. I appreciate all the patience that you guys have had with me. Do not forget, of course, to follow me on Instagram. Do not forget to turn on those post notifications and subscribe to this channel, okay? And I love you and God loves you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.